It has a pom-pom instead of a tail, much like hares do, as well as strong front paws. Believe it or not, but these cats may still be found in the wild. Curl bub tails are often described as domestic cats resembling small lynxes. This breed was officially registered only in the 1990s. Here is more about what these cats are like and why they have no tails. The Curillian bubtail has Siberian ancestors. This breed has been little studied by felinologists yet, but the most common version of how they came to exist is the crossbreeding of Japanese bubtails and Siberian cats. They were brought to the Kuril Islands by Japanese and Russian seamen at the start of the 18th century, when the latter were virtually discovering these lands and putting them down on the map. As a result, both breeds communicated and interbred with each other in wild nature for a long time, leading to the emergence of a new, unique cat breed, the Curillian bubtail. They have a very short tail, a Siberian face, and a fluffy fur coat, which protects them from frosts and winds. For decades, hardly anyone knew about this unusual cat breed living on the Kuril Islands. Kurilian bubtails were first taken note of back in the 1980s by Soviet researchers, who decided to take home a number of wildcats from the islands of Kunishir and Iturup and show them to specialists. At the time, philology was just being born as a branch of science, so, at first, they were taken for Japanese bubtails but turned out to be quite different in terms of their appearance and character. In 1991, Moscow philologist Olga Miranova set out the breed standard, which was then registered first in the USSR and, in 1994 at the International Cat Association. Hundreds of breeding catteries have emerged since then, with most of them located in Moscow. A cat's tails function as a kind of a steering wheel. We explain this in greater detail here, based on the example of the snow leopard, with the help of which they keep balance when performing maneuvers. But, since Curillian bubtails have a very short tail, these cats' back paws have developed well enough over time. If you take a closer look, you'll see they are bigger and mightier than those of long-tailed cats. In addition to this, their pom-poms may be of different length up to 12 centimeters and different shapes. There are round spiral-like or straight bubtails. Although Curillian bubtails are true predators, they like people, especially children. These cats do not resort to aggression towards little children, easily letting them cuddle with them. Folks say that Curillian bubtail cats are typically very sociable and keen to play at least twice a day, even if they are already grown up. Males are, incidentally, double as heavy as females, their weight reaching up to over 7 kilograms. They also live a really long life at home, about 15 to 20 years, boasting a sound health, like most aboriginal felines. Nowadays, all Curillian bubtail kittens are bred in catteries in keeping with the strict breed standards. There can be both short and semi-long hair ones, notably of different fur patterns. The wild-to-grind pattern coupled with semi-long fur is considered the oldest and the most popular. Besides, no less widespread is the marbled tabby pattern, as well as the smoky and spotted ones. The breed standard doesn't recognize color point patterns, as it prohibits crossbreeding Curillian bubtails with others. Interestingly enough, these felines may still be found in the wild on the Kuril Islands and in Kamchatka. In contrast with many other cats, they are not afraid of water. Like lions, they live not on their own, but in groups commonly referred to as prides.